It really was a problem area, Sarah. Police tell us that there were 50 crashes at this intersection alone over the last three years. And you can tell it's a really busy intersection, a well-traveled area. We're in the Westville neighborhood of New Haven near Edgewood Park and the Yale Bowl. And so city officials are hoping that this new peanut-shaped roundabout will pause and get rid of that problem. Accidents, lots of accidents, crazy driving. Pat Sievertson has lived in this neighborhood for more than four decades, and she says this intersection connecting Chapel Street to Yale Lab is highly trafficked and even more dangerous. I was always very nervous about this intersection because you can't really see the cars, and especially in the summer with the shadows and everything. Those factors have led to 50 crashes here over the last three years, many of them pretty serious. Just ask Lieutenant El Elliot Rosa. We can't have a cop at every intersection to help slow everyone down and this formulation actually just works synergistically with the police department and the residents. Feels good, feels good. Introducing the city's solution, a brand new peanut shaped roundabout. What do you think? Mayor Justin Elliker testing it out at the grand opening after about two months of construction. By using the peanut roundabout, it's a sort of like behaves like two connected roundabouts. Um, it actually allows you to enter uh, you know, one side or the other at the correct angle. Giovanni Zinn and his team at City Hall started to plan this about six years ago when neighbors spoke up about the problem. It's part of a larger plan to cut down on crashes and deaths on the streets of New Haven. You know, we're looking at all of our major city owned corridors through the major corridors project. Uh, we're doing a lot of speed humps. And even though infrastructure changes help, it's up to drivers to save lives. It's a matter of responsibility, right? I mean, if you're uh, in, in a four or five, six thousand pound vehicle, Remember that it's it's your friends and neighbors that are out there, right? And those neighbors are hoping this peanut makes a difference. They're very cautious, very cautious. And it would be nice if it stayed this way. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Now we asked Giovanni if he considered using red lights or maybe stop signs in this area. He says, no, the peanut was the perfect scenario here because people can blow through red lights and stop signs. And since speeding is the issue here, he says it'll be pretty hard to blow through this peanut shaped roundabout. We're live here in New Haven. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.